So, if I put a load of money in front of you, okay, so uh, 5p's, 10p's, 20p's, 50p's, uh, pounds, 2 pounds, and it's just a big pile of coins, and then I say to you, right, count how much money I've got. Well, the first thing you'd probably do, without really thinking about it, is that you would start to separate the, the money, the big pile of money, into 1p's, 2p's, 5p's, 10p's, 20p's, and you'd separate it into different piles, okay? So, what you might consider this to be is that I am collecting like terms together. I am collecting all of the 10p's together, I'm collecting all of the pound coins together, all of the two pound coins together, and then all I need to do is add up the individual piles, and then I can calculate how much there is all together. So, if you've got something like, well, I've got a, a two pound coin, and another two pound coin, and a 50p, and another 50p, and a third 50p, and I've also got um, a 20 pence piece, okay, then if I was going to say, right, all together, the natural thing to do would be to say, right, well, I've got two two-pound coins, I can see that, and I've got uh, three 50p coins, and if you're going, why is Jack saying P, say, you should say pence, okay, well, fair enough. And then one 20 pence coin there I check. Okay, so you've got two two pound coins, three 50 point, uh, pence coins, and one 20 pence coin. Okay, and then I can say, well, that's four pound, that's another one pound 50, five pound 50, plus the 20p is five pound 70. Okay, and that would be my method of adding these things together. So, so what I've got here is actually some very basic algebra going on because I could then start to say well I've got uh, two two pound coins and I'm going to represent that using uh, A and I've got three 50 pence coins which I'm going to start using B and then I've got one uh, 20 pence coin which I'm going to call C okay so I've got 2 times A, 3 times B, and 1 lot of C. Well, let's make this look even easier on the eye, okay? Um, 2 times A, well, I could just write that as 2A. 2 A's. And instead of saying 3 times B, I've got 3 B's. And instead of saying 1 C, okay, I could say, well, I've just got a C. So I've actually got 2 A's, 3 B's, and 1 C. So 2 2 pound coins, 3 50 P's, and 1 20 P. So this could also represent 2 elephants, 3 rhinos, and 1 giraffe. Um, it could be that I've got 2 US dollars, I've got 3 euros, and 1 pound. Okay, so it could represent a great number of different things. And the key idea here is that the lettering and, well, the lettering is used to represent whichever quantity of things I want. Okay, it could be any particular item. But the key thing is that the A is representing something different to the B. And likewise, A and B are two different things to the C, okay? So I am not able to join them together in any way. I can't say if I've got two pounds and three euros, I can't then have five pound euros. So I can't then say that I've got five AB, for example, from this. That wouldn't make any sense. I would have to have a pile of pounds and a pile of euros separately, okay? I'm not going to mix them together. So in the next video, we're going to be talking more about collecting like terms and what that means for us in solving problems.